working on and keep striving to get better at. Uh, year two with this defense, we look a lot better. Um, we actually know what we, we know what we're doing last year, but I think as a whole, everyone's a lot more confident in, in what we're doing. Not that we weren't before, but everyone's a lot more confident. It's kind of like doing something the first time, and after you get repetition, repetition, it comes a lot more easier. Now I'm starting to see things that I didn't see last year that I'm seeing now. What's it like dealing with a new position? Um, I like Coach Brown a lot, actually. Um, very easy to talk to. Uh, when he first came in, it was right off the bat. Uh, he kind of just said, like, listen, I'm about, I'm about my business, and that's basically it. He's like, I want guys that I want to play hard, and, and I'm going to coach you hard. Uh, he's a different type of coach. He's, he likes X's and O's. Uh, he's very attention to detail and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm used to a lot of coaches like that. It kind of reminds me of what Coach Panic goes when he used to coach here. But um, he, I like the way he's coaching us right now. A lot of different techniques, a lot of things that I didn't know, a lot of different terminology that he uses, which is, is always good to learn. You can, you're never a finished product. So having three different coaches, um, I mean, kind of benefits you at the end of the day. How about your assistant defensive line coach? You okay taking orders from a Primus Catholic guy? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I played against uh, against Coach Keys uh, in high school. I mean, he brings the juice. Uh, that's the type of guy that uh, that we like to have in our room. A guy who's uh, who's gonna talk trash to you, kind of get you going, get you mad, and see what you're gonna do. Uh, so it's really good having him in the room. He, and he's he's hands on too. He's just like Coach Brown. They both bring juice, to, and they both expect a lot and demand a lot from the guys in the room, and and we respond as we're supposed to. You feel like you're ready to be a leader. Not that you haven't led already on this D line, but. Joseph's gone, Kamoko's gone, Nash is gone. Like it's kind of your time to step up. Um, yeah, I think we all have a good understanding. But like, like this is my biggest thing with our room is uh, we don't we we have we have a designated leader in every single room. But in our room, we all kind of respect each other. Uh, like I said, Julius Turner. He's he yells all the time, and I'm like, how does he do it? How does he do it? But that's someone that I look up to. You probably heard me talk about this before. Like I look up to younger guys who, who do things like that. So um, I mean, we all are our own. We all have leaders in their room. Do we have a designated one? Probably so. Me, John, Batagi, Julius. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but I think we all lead in our own way with each other. We kind of all feed off of each other. Is it good that maybe you guys have some different personalities? Maybe someone who's quiet. Maybe someone who's is willing to speak up more. Is it good to have different personalities like that? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually very funny. Uh, John, John's not much of a talker, but he's kind of got out of his shell from when I first met him his freshman year. Uh, he's a completely different kid. Um, Julius and I are both talkers. We both argue with each other. We both get loud. You know, it, it, and it's fun. You, you got guys like Tavertoff and Bordner who, who are who are younger guys who are starting to kind of like try to find out who they really are. And I think that's really good because you give people the ability to kind of see what they're going to be like or how they can evolve themselves, being that we're older guys now.